Russia's newest turboprop transport, the world's largest commercial airliner, arrives in New York after a record nonstop flight from Moscow at an average 460 miles an hour. It brings Deputy Premier Frol Kozlov, number three man in the Kremlin, to attend the opening at the Coliseum of the Soviet Exhibition of Science, Technology, and Culture. It's the first showcasing here of red achievements since the 1939 World's Fair. Its importance to Russia is indicated by Kozlov's high rank. Fulfilling America's role as host, President Eisenhower flew from Washington for a preview tour in a last-minute decision. With Vice President Nixon, he and the Russian delegation toured the elaborate show. All jovial, despite the size of the crowd. Almost a mob scene. is the counterpart of an American exhibition to be opened in Moscow next month by Mr. Nixon. In this elaborate cultural exchange, full-scale models of her Sputniks are among the things Russia is proudest of. Legitimately impressive achievements, deftly exploited to the utmost here. Another red showpiece is the nuclear-powered icebreaker, the first atomic surface vessel now under construction. The exhibition will run for six weeks. Premier Kozlov will tour the United States following the trail of his colleague Mikoyan and confer briefly with Ike in Washington, perhaps bringing Cold War tidings from Khrushchev.